Hello, community. Today we talk about a context length of 400,000 tokens. So we're going to move from a Llama 2 4K model to a Llama 2 400K model. And just as a short remark, do not ask me if it is worth to extend the context length for your particular X system or what other companies offered you. Please understand, I'm here for research. So let's go. And we have here the Beijing Academy of Artificial Intelligence. So beautiful January 7, so quite recent. And we go from 4K to 400K token length. And we extend here every LLM's context length here with a particular new methodology they call the activation beacon. So let's have a look at this in detail. Let us analyze the published results by this research group. We have a context length to the perplexity, context length to GPU, and a context length to the inference time. As you see, we have different possibilities how to extend context length, but now we have a brand new the activation beacon. And as you can see, we go here from 4K to 400K, and the authors here show us that the perplexity stays the same, where all the other systems just go crazy. Also, GPU memory is absolutely the same for a 4K context length to a 400K context length. And even here, the inference time is quite okay. If you think we are here at 4K and at 400K, we are about 8 seconds. So, let's have a look at this in detail. Now, the first thing that I thought, hey, this is interesting. What does it mean we have to train activation beacons and that it takes less than nine hours on a eight times a 800 GPU NVIDIA data center system? Now, if you're not familiar with the 8800, this is here the Chinese analogon. And as you can see on eBay, it's available for under $20,000 per single machine. Great. So, do we lose something like here at T if we now extend to 400K context length? Now, you, need, you know that here our LLMs need to process long context here, especially when you have retrieval augmented generation or in-context learning, but those LLMs are constrained here by fixed context length, 4K, 8K, 32K, and so on. Now, this new methodology goes here and says, hey, we understand that the raw activations are information redundant. Therefore, the authors believe they can condense this into a much more compact form with very little information loss. Now, you know, we do have quantization here already in our LLMs, but this now is a complete new idea. Shares common philosophy with sparse attention and context compression. And what they say, we inject now a new specific special token known as a beacon. And those beacons are dispatched at different position in the context length and used to generate a condensed activation for each specific interval. And yes, you get it. We are talking about sliding windows. So, yes, you know this. A condensed activation from beacons are streamingly processed by sliding windows, and the size of the sliding window is upper bound only by the maximum original context length of our LLM. Now, regarding the training time, there are now two points that are important. So what they did, they applied it to a Llama 2 7B model, and the maximum context length is 4K. And now they train it here on a training data set where all the training instances are less than 8K long. And it takes them a step and it takes nine hours, those famous nine hours on a eight times an A800 GPU machine. So 640 gigabyte of VRAM. And they reach a strong performance. But now in the text, they only state that those nine hours, they go from 4K to 8K, 16K and 32K. So this is now one question. So it takes me nine hours on a node of eight high performance GPU to go from 4K to 32K. Where are the time frames to go from 4K to 400K? I did not find the information in this publication. Maybe 
if you have some additional information, why not leave here the community some additional information in the comments to this video? And second, how sensitive is this training for specific topics? Okay, so the nice thing is, if we really can have, now I look at the activations, at the raw activation at each layer in the model, and yes, we have to have here absolute access to all the different layers of our LLM. How do we get it that it is a condensed activation function in a more compact form? Now, you know this. It is a simple mathematical notation. Let's just run through this and then explain it. They divide the entire context length into some intervals of a specific length, for example, 10 tokens, 100 tokens, where the beacons are dispatched at the end of each interval. So in each decoding layer of our LLM, the input hidden state now of this particular beacon, we have here the B, are transformed to query the raw K value, key value activation within this particular format, where the a condensed activation can be produced. And you know this formula. You know this formula because in my last video, and what a coincidence, I showed you here when I talked about supercharging multi LLM intelligence with Calm, and we were talking about two different models where we had a projection layer and then the cross attention. This is exactly what we did. So if you are not really sure what I'm talking here, please have a look at my last video. I also showed you there how to in detail calculate here. Okay, this was the cross attention mechanism in COM, but you see it is absolutely the same methodology and the same mathematics. Great. Now, condensation is not an easy topic. Those beacons now I designed to condense the activation representing here a segment of the text, and this is exactly the interval. Their effectiveness of the beacon compression now depends how well they can capture the essence of that text in that interval. And this includes here also the semantic understanding of topic context nuances. Now we need a training session just for the condensed activation layer. So be careful, we have an additional step like in LoRa, where we have some additional weight tensors. Now we have a completely different system because now we are operating on the activations. And of course, the sensitivity of the beacon activation to specific text or a specific topic depend heavily on the training data because now we have a complete new additional training cycle. So. As always, a diverse and a comprehensive training data set can lead to a better generalization. However, if you are now your training data set is somehow limited or somehow biased towards certain topics or whatever, now those beacons might be less effective for the condensation activations. And now we have the complete complexity of an optimized training again in a second, if you want layer of now activations. If you think now about potential failure points. Now, inherently, the main idea is that the condensation of the activation involves reducing the information in a more compact form. But during this compactification of information, we do not want to lose here specific contextual or linguistic information that is important to understand here the text. And if, again, the beacons are overly trained to generalize, they might miss your specific details that are critical for the understanding. And everything that is now done here in a more complex text structure, the model understanding and the response by the model might be compromised if the beacon cannot effectively condense here the activation to retain the meaning of this specific interval. Plus, it might struggle to condense all the relevant activation functions effectively. And, of course, beacons might not adapt well to new emerging topics or new languages that you try here. So, please note that there are a lot of limitations that might have not been that much addressed in the original research paper, but just be aware of them. Yeah, I would like to stress here that 
we go here for the beacons. And they do not alter the fundamental learning weights, the fundamental weight tensor structure in our LLM. We have now some additional component, these beacons, that process here the model's activations, so the outputs of each layer, in a condensed form, and to try to compactify here the activation functions. So this means that the underlying model, with all its learned patterns and rules and everything, remains completely unchanged, which is a good thing. So this means we can just add this maybe as a plug and play solution, as an additional layer. But however, it is extremely sensitive to the content that you have to train it at least for nine hours on eight, eight, 800 uh, GPUs and maybe much more. So beacons trained to summarize, act on the activations, and learning in the context of beacons involves training those beacons to effectively condense here those activation function layer-wise. Therefore, you understand it is not such a simple task, right? Now let's look at the accuracy if you compare it with other methods we have to extend the context length of specific LLMs. Now, here you have some of them. Let's look here at the blue, the activation beacon, our no new model. And as you can see, accuracy 1, 100% here, here we are. And we stay more or less the same, on the same level, if we go from a context length of 4K to 10K, 14K, and 16K. Beautiful. So this now tells us something that, for example, here, this performance here, that acts here on the activation condensation, is comparable, that's what the authors claim, at 16k context length with, for example, what we have here, other benchmarks like the long alpaca 16k. But notice we have here a completely different system because the long alpaca 16k is a fine-tuning methodology where the activation beacon method is here working here on a new injected layer of activation condensations. Really critical. It's two different topics. Activation beacon, learn a special token activation condensation for a given interval to increase the effectiveness in its ability of the model to hang, handle long context more efficiently, important for REC. And on the other side, we have fine-tuning LLMs here for an extended content length, and those two have nothing in common. Beautiful. The complete code, unfortunately, here on the GitHub repo from Flag Open is not released yet. So I cannot run actually some tests, but I'm waiting for this, and maybe I do a video whenever the code will become available from the Beijing Academy. For Ben here at the end, Ben, if you want to know a deep dive into activation, I asked ChatGPT to provide here some summary here. So beautiful, this is GPT-4 Turbo explaining where activation play a part now here, especially so you see how it is interlinked to all the other things. And from my personal advanced AI system, I have here also kind of an explanation that goes a little bit more in the details here of passing through the transformer layer with the self-attention mechanism, the activation function, and generating new activations. So uh, I would recommend that you read this after you read the simple explanation by GPT-4. Beautiful. So I think here we are. This is now a new research to achieve 400,000 token, a context length of 400,000 token for our LLM. Please note that this methodology is brand new, is experimental. Code has not been published yet, but there are some serious limitations that you have to be aware of if you want to apply this particular methodology for an extended context length to your specific LLM. I hope it was informative. It would be great to see you in my next video.